ever heard of Duffy Martin? <laughs> That's my dad. Hi, I'm Duffy Martin. Been in the golf business for 63 years. Been a Class A member in the PGA and a member in good stead. He's pretty much a legend. He likes to have a good time <laughs> all the time. Yeah, it's easy to laugh whenever you're happy, happy old boy. <laughs> See, most old boys, it's 95. Hell, they can't get out of bed. I live by myself. I've got a hot tub, I've got a swimming hole. I've got my cemetery out north of my place. And I'm not volunteering to get in. Yeah, but it's there. He's got that charisma, and they always ask, was Duffy still alive? They're always afraid to ask, and we're like, yeah, and then he'll pull up. You know, he has a big bullhorn on both his Lincolns. I love driving that taxi cab, and I love that job. Guy laid a razor on my throat, and I gave him what money I had, but I had to get another profession. Thought I'd get in the golf business. He sold Cadillacs, and this uh, dealer that he worked for that really liked him because he was good at what he did, gave him a Cadillac and money to go on the tour because he could still play pretty decent. I don't think he, you know, he ever made much money doing it. He was always ready to go back to work <laughs> when he got back. He really didn't have any other hobbies that I'm aware of. It's all golf, 100%. When he talks about golf, it's, it's like his life. It's everything. I think golf is the greatest game in the whole world. Can't play a lick now, but uh, it's been great. I was raised in the farm. I knew about working dirt and soil and stuff. So I came up here and I bought a thousand acres of land and I took the ball and run with it. He would say, now here's number two, then number three is coming up, you know, this way. And I, I don't know how he does that. Don't make it too difficult, but make it demanding and interesting, but make it fair, where they can score and have enjoyment and pleasure. Dad being a PGA pro, he was able to do some teaching, and, and we have people come out all the time and say, I learned how to play for one of your other courses. The reason that I got into golf, you don't have too many deadbeats and misfits and undesirables coming to the golf course. They're down at the pool hall. They come to the golf course and have enjoyment and pleasure, and it's the healthy. I got to tell you, I'm the luckiest guy in the world to have a family like I got. And they've worked hard, they've done a man's work. It's a team. We all work together. That's all we knew. Picking up balls and goose and greens. And we all work there. My kids were raised on a golf course. I was raised on a golf course. That's all, you know, I can think of nothing different than that. We just always had to work as a family to keep it going. So we never really thought of anything else. He sure started it all. We wouldn't have <laughs> done it, that's for sure, on our own. I'm going to go dance every chance I get. If the music's good, I've got <laughs> me a dance partner that got more moves than a Swiss watch. The Lord takes care of the ignorant. I guess that's one of the deals. <laughs> but anyway, life's been good, boys. Couldn't be better.